welcome to my craft room. We're going to make this double diamond card fold using the beautiful Butterfly Brilliance Cling Stamp Set and the matching dies called Brilliant Wings Dies and this fantastic die set. Look at all the dies that are in it. It's just amazing. Just beautiful. I'm also going to use the designer series paper called Butterfly Bijou. And there's 48 sheets, so there's eight each of six double-sided designs. Wow, I love that. Usually you only get a couple of sheets of each one, but this has got eight sheets, so you've got lots and lots of things you can make with this. And the colors are just gorgeous. So today I'm going to be using um, the Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay and um, So Saffron Designer Series paper, or sorry, So Saffron cardstock and your basic white. So there's your Designer Series paper. Just lovely. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need all of these dimensions, by the way, are down below. But you're going to start off with 4 by 10 inch sheet in So Saffron, uh, 1, 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths, and 2 in the white, the 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths, and 2, 1 and 1, th one, th one and 1, 3 quarters, and 1 and 1, 3 quarters square. And two of the one five eighths by one and five eighths designer series paper. You also need a pencil with a fine lead that's going to be able to reach down into the tract of your trimmer. Okay, so I'm moving the cutting blade out of the way. And first off, you're going to take your four by ten and you're going to do your first score line at two inches. Then slide it all the way over and score at eight inches. Then I turn it lengthwise. And you're going to score at two inches. So that's basically so you're folding it in half. Okay, next part, you're going to do these um, diamond folds. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your first mark at four inches, and you're just going to at the top with the light pencil mark right in the tract where you would normally cut, top and bottom. Then slide it over to six inches and do the same thing top and bottom. Can you see my light pencil marks there? Okay, now slide it over to three inches and now you're going to make a pencil mark on that two inch score line. So you have a little cross there. Okay, I made the score line, the pencil marks a little bigger so you can see that. Then I slide it over and do the same thing at seven inches and a little pencil mark. It's there. Can you see the pencil marks there? Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to score at an angle connecting those dots. And all you're going to do is line those up in the tract and score it. So there I'm lining it up at the um, one mark. The top and then sliding it over until I can see that pencil mark in the tract, in the score tract line, and then just score it down to that. Okay. Now take it, turn it the other direction, and do the same thing, lining it up with that on the two inch score line. See the pencil mark, and then your pencil mark down at the bottom, line it up, so you can see it through the track line and then give it a score again. Okay, on the other side, do exactly the same thing. Connect your dot at the top and the one at the two inch. There you go. And then turn it the other way and do the same thing. Isn't this great? You can do it all with your stamp and trimmer with this score thing. You don't have to get your ruler out and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now you use your bone folder for these two first three folds. The first fold you're going to do is fold it in half, 
Oh yeah, don't forget to erase your pencil marks so you don't see it. You don't need those anymore. Okay, give it a nice crisp fold with your bone folder. And your two folds on the end, same thing. Tucking him underneath. Okay, now on these corner folds, you want to gently work that. Just put your fingers along the edge of that fold to kind of help it. And just kind of gently do the fold mark there. Okay, do the same thing on both sides. And you see how I'm just putting my fingers there just to kind of guide it so that it bends on that fold mark. Okay, so now you're slowly going to work those folds so that it'll, it'll fold itself. There we go. And then just I say it's just slowly work it until it folds for you. There you go, and then you're just going to fold it down, and that's what it's going to look like when it's closed. Okay, so there's your card base. That's all there is to it. Isn't that awesome? That just knocks your socks off. It's so simple. It's so cute. Okay, so now for the little side panels in the front. I'm using Bermuda Made cardstock and the Designer Series paper. And I'm just putting that on designer paper on the on the cardstock. Make some layering. And I'm using Tombow for the adhesive for all of this. I like Tombow um, because it slides so nice and easy. If you put it down, you have a little bit of wiggle room before it sets. And I'm I'm doing all my, my gluing on the silicone mat because if I get a bit of glue on it, it's no problem. It just wipes off. Okay, the stamp set is Happy Thoughts, and I've actually I've made three that uh, I'm using the thank you. But if you at the end of this video, you can see the other two that I made with the same stamp set, and I always stamp off first time on a scrap of paper just to make sure there's no fuzzies. So now I'm lining this up on my grid just to make sure that because it's a diamond layout, just to make sure I got it on straight. There you go. Okay, now I'm taking that piece of um, Bermuda Bay cardstock and I'm going to glue the Tombow again. That thank you. And that's the front of your card. Then the second piece of uh, basic white paper you're going to put on the back and that's so that when your card is closed on the back top half of that you can use that area to write something if you like. Might be a quick note or whatever and it just looks nice with the white. Okay, now I'm going to stamp the butterflies and I've got my stamparatus out with this piece of uh, five by seven uh, white. Now I'm just going to place the stamp on the paper and you close the door and it lifts up the stamp and then you're ready to ink it. And you notice I put the stamp case underneath it because I like so that the 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 it's easy, it's not flopping around. And a new trick I've learned is to slowly give a twist when you're putting the ink on instead of tap, tap, tapping. Uh, you get a much even better first timer with it. Okay, give it a good press. Look at that, wow, beautiful. Okay, that's the stamping is done. And I'm just taking the plate off so I don't close the door and get the ink all over the place. And I'll clean that later. 
Okay, now I'm going to speed this up. So I'm going to color that butterfly and I'm going to use Bermuda Bay and uh, So Saffron. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting in a light Bermuda Bay as some of the blue. And now I'm using the, the uh, light So Saffron to color it. And you'll notice on this one, I had some fun. I actually, I did more blending. And this is the beauty of the blends. Instead of having a, a hard break between the two, see how you can blend the yellow with the blue. You get a soft sort of green color. But the lines are softly blended. Does that make sense when I explain that? But you know what I mean. So I'm just using a bit of dark so saffron just to give a little more emphasis on them parts of the butterfly. And the trick is, is when you're blending, when you put your first color down, then you could do second, just give it a few seconds to let it dry and then the alcohol dry. And then you're just moving the ink, not the alcohol as well, and your paper won't get warped. Okay, I'm using some light basic black just to color in the butterfly a little bit. And just doing a little more saffron in there just to bring out a bit more of the yellow. Okay, now I'm going to see that fantastic dye. I'm just lining up the dye. And I'm using a piece of washi tape just to hold it down. You can use the blue lift-off scotch tape or masking tape. Masking tape, be careful because it could tear your paper. But uh, this washi tape works awesome for this. Okay, going to run it through the stamping emboss. I think we're calling it the big boss machine, but anyways, it's cutting it through. And if you hear a snap cracking, that's okay. That's the dye cutting through the paper. Okay, there's my butterfly and you notice it cuts out all the butterflies at the same time and one of the other cards I made in the melon mambo was one of these butterflies as well so you've got a whole bunch of butterflies you can make a bunch of projects with all at once okay so now I'm going to put that butterfly on the uh, diamond that I've stamped with a thank you and I'm going to use dimensionals and you just put the dimensionals down at the bottom of the wings. This is the large dimensionals and one just at the base of the body because you don't want it too high up on your, um, so when the card closes, you don't have a problem with it. You don't want to see those dimensionals. Okay. So I'm just going to put it on my grid just to make sure I'm kind of straight there and I'm just lining it. The only trick is, is don't push your butterfly too up high because when it closes you only want a width of four and a quarter inches so it fits in your standard envelope. And now I'm just using some clear wing Costello which is a, just a beautiful fine um, layer of glitter and you just paint it on. And that just gives them awesome shine to it. Okay, going to mount that. And now the same thing, you're going to center it at the bottom half of your card. So I'm going to use dimensionals and you can only put your dimensionals on the bottom half of that diamond. Don't go too far up. So doing the same thing. I'm putting a couple down lower down and one on each side. Not straight up, not halfway up. A little further down than that. Just to be on the safe side and then you won't have it sticking out over your fold. Okay, so just line it up. And there you go. Isn't that amazing? So now we just have the little side panels to put on the front. And just close it uh, just to make sure that you've got the butterflies going in the direction that you want. 
and a little bit of Tombow on the back. And I'm just getting my silicone mat out just to do that again. Yeah, so you can see what it looks like when it's unfolded. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. And there is your double diamond fold card. How easy is that? And it's so pretty. I could think of all kinds of possibilities. These butterflies are just over the top. They look so perfect with this. I made another butterfly, another card with the same, same stamp set all from the Happy Thought stamp set, and I used the colors, the combination of Melon Mambo and the basic white, and I colored the butterfly, and I also used the wings dies, and I cut out one of the, I don't know what you describe it, but you know what I mean, and I layered it on top of the butterfly. So I hope you'll try these projects. It's an absolutely beautiful card. I just love it. There's the other one that I made with the Thinking of You from the Happy Thought stamp set. And there's the one Melon Mambo, and I think I put a couple of uh, embellishments on that as well. But see, you can see the dies are just awesome. So thanks for coming to my craft room. Try these projects, and you'll love it. Bye for now.